Niggas they ain't help me, I was at the bottom running with them shot to try and make a way. Man, Mo trap when we was down hollering 12, 12 skinnies trying to hit a play. Niggas started dying, niggas wanting right. Well, this is DJ Chuck Spins and this the in Chuck We Trust podcast. And I, my guy pulled up on me, Big Chopo. Chopo, whatever you want to call him. What's up, bro? Yeah, yeah, what it is, bro. You know, feeling good, living better. Nah, as you should. Like, let's get straight into it because you're an artist I think I've been watching for like a year or two. Yeah. I, I just, you one of those artists that is like, you keep popping up. And I love to see an artist like, you're not in, your, in the beginning stages. But you like in the middle. I want to catch up. I want to catch everybody early. Yeah. I, I want to. I want to get everybody before they like the biggest they could be. So I could be like I was kind of part of their journey. Yeah. Hell like, yeah. You say yo, I, I got to sat down with y'all, or I could be telling somebody else like yo, I got to sit down with Chat before you blow up. Like that. That's. Yo, it's so crazy. That's why I've been watching you though. Like on some like like DJing parties and shit. Like I've been watching you. Like it's crazy how one of my peoples had a party and they were looking for DJs. I was supposed to hit you, but they ended up finding one and shit. Like. No, I, I appreciate that. Re- regardless of the, of the fact you poured up on me, stuff like that mean the world to me. You know, I, I'm going to get to say five, ten years down the line, even if you stop making music today or tomorrow, I got to sit down with Chapo. They're going to always remember. I got to, I got to sit down. They're going to always remember because it's on a tip like not only is you gaining recognition from me, but I'm gaining it from you. You feel what I'm saying? Niggas always, we using each other. Like, it's networking. Niggas got to bring each other to the top. That's what's wrong with Baltimore City right now. Niggas ain't helping each other. But that's the crazy thing because I look at you, you on a small list of artists that I could say like, Y'all networking is big, but we gonna get to that. How right? You, how you got to make a music, man? It's like I always love music my whole life. Like, I don't think I can go without music. Like you feel what I'm saying, like the shit be so crazy. Like since I was younger, it's always music. I rather listen to music all day than watch TV all day. Like That's for true. real. Like and then like my big brother and shit, he started rapping when I was younger. Like I was, you know, I'm from Chai Hill. Like I wasn't really seeing a lot of Baltimore rappers. It was always like GGO Slip. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Because even try here with the same parts. My man, you feel what I'm saying? I always just was hearing him. And then my brother started rapping. So, like, you going to look up to your big brother. My, my brother just was hard as shit. I always was bumping him. So then I'm like, let me try it. Who, who your brother? He still not a Yeah, his name Bulliano. Like, y'all got to look. Yo, what? Bulliano. Oh, Bully. He coming. Yeah, Bully. I've I, I been talking to yeah. Bully for some years, I think. That's so. my brother. Blood oh, brother. Oh, oh shit! I didn't know y'all was. I, I seen, I seen you like you know saying free him and all that. Why he was yeah. locked up on I, every tape, every yeah. <laughs> hashtag post. That shit was in a bio. Like it wasn't. You wasn't going to like, see that without him. Like he on videos like free bullet. In my videos, he talking on the phone. My twenty seven hundred younger video. That's bullet talking on the phone. In the beginning, like and in a comeback video when I was sixteen. Yeah, that bitch always locked up. So I, was, <laughs> I be having to keep say free yo, but he on the right track right now, and I'm trying to keep him there. Like that's my dog. Yeah, I know you said it already, but for the people that don't know, um, how was it growing up in Cherry Hill? Yeah, it was like, that shit was like any other project for real, but Cherry Hill is like the biggest project in Baltimore. Like, It's not even really projects all the way. Like, It got its project parts, but we got big ass houses and all of that, like hella different houses, fields and all of that. It's not really a project. It's just got a certain project parts. Like, we got 10 houses and everything out there, like, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I ain't stay out Cherry Hill my whole life growing up. I moved it down the hill over east. You know what I'm saying? Zone 5, like, I grew up in Cherry Hill, and then my mother got tired of us being out there. She moved us over east and shit. We moved down the hill, and then I started meeting my mans over there. Grew up over there. So, like, I called down here like, my second home for real. I got a lot of niggas over there, like, big love over there. You know what I'm saying? But that shit just, you know, like any other trenches, nigga coming up hard. So do Cherry Hill, like, have, like, an effect on your music or, like, your sound? Yeah, definitely. Like, Cause like I be trying like show niggas like like a lot of project kids they give up like Chai Hill rent like not everybody rent but some rent bro these shit be like two hundred dollars and that shit sounds so crazy <laughs> but though I swear to God like niggas rent me two hundred dollars out that bitch like on a public housing tip like that shit is crazy like, I never like the first time I heard that I'm like damn like they even got little kids I swear to God bro I take you to the, I just got chased by kids out there but like the kids out there love me bro like so I be feeling like yo that's really my home like everybody out there love me like. Like, that shit for real, man. Like. But what, like, the average person from, like, Baltimore, I don't know, is, like, Charlie Hill is, like, so spaced out. Like, from, to, to me, Charlie Hill seems like its own, like, town. It is. It's an island. Like, that shit is just island. That's what we call it. We call it an island. Like, that shit got 
world around just sit by itself like like if you ain't from out there, you don't gotta go through Chai Hill to go nowhere. Like it's people in Baltimore. I swear to God, every time people in Chai Hill, they swear to God, like I never been there before. I'm like, damn, for real. Like you don't gotta go there to go. Like you don't gotta go through there. A lot of hoods you gotta go through to end up somewhere else. You don't gotta go through there for no like no reason at all. Like if you ain't from there or you got people out there, you ain't coming out there. Why the fuck you out there? Like unless the black party that we throw every year, but I haven't anybody going out there unless they going through Brooklyn. But you don't need to go through Chai Hill to get out of Brooklyn either. But yeah. some people just do that, like. You don't gotta go out there for no reason at all. It's people in the city. Half of the city ain't even never seen Chai Hill. Swear now, to God. I had some people out there, so I, I I've been on Chai Hill, but Chai Hill is crazy because Chai Hill ain't like when you think of projects, you might think of dirty, you might think of like like Chai Chai Hill to me it was like one of the cleanest places. Yo, I swear I've been to that people. God, bro. <laughs> I keep telling them that, bro. I swear to God, yo, it's just so crazy because like, bro, like bitches would be like. Like, niggas, you, you wouldn't even get a bitch to be able to come see you out, Chai Hill. Yeah, that dirty ass, da, 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 da. bitch ain't never even been out there. How the fuck you gonna say that? Like, piece of men, piece of men used to be scared. Like, you can't even order certain pieces. They don't come out there. You can't order a sedan out there. Like, niggas be doing some crap bars. Like, niggas be robbing, shout them type niggas. Like, so pieces of sedan on them type niggas don't come out there, like, at all. Like, that shit be crazy, but, bro, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't all bad, bro. Like, I mean, there's some crap bar shit going out there right now, murders and all that, but I just bought them all. Like, it's good out there. Everybody know everybody. It's all love out there. And this was a crazy thing that I heard. And I, I've never lived out Cherry Hill, but I have been out Cherry Hill multiple times. It's no market out there. <laughs> no, hold on. You got to explain the bus thing to me. Oh, my I'm telling you, I, I, I've only ever lived in Baltimore. I know. like Yeah. Nigga be tripping off that uptown. Like, out Cherry Hill is like, it ain't no corner stores. Like, there's no corner stores. It's a shopping center. But, like, everybody, like, if you don't live by the shopping center, you got to take a long-ass walk. Nobody want to take that long-ass walk. So we got candy buses, like, it's buses, like, and I'm talking about that shit got everything on it. The buses got everything on them, like, literally, like, anything you could find, like. So, like, niggas be tripping off of that, like, and they just had this little moment in the city where the buses had to leave. Like, I don't know why, but they was making the buses leave from out of Chai Hill when niggas had to, like, like, I don't remember what it's called, but everybody make votes and all of that and all that to try to keep the buses in Chai Hill, but niggas was having to do that. Like, niggas was sneaking their buses out of Chai Hill. By a certain time, you leave them. Like, you can't just make it sit. You got to keep moving. Shit like that. Like, they don't let you park your bus out of Chai Hill. They be on some bitch ass shit. But. Now, that's crazy for an area that don't have no market. You got to... You, they got family dollar. Stores. Like, they be shopping for food at Family Dollar. And, you know, Cherry Hill was on this little spree where nobody died out there, but it was still places that, yeah. what I heard, that, you know, certain people can't go. You can't, right. certain people didn't want to get caught at. Somebody go tell me, oh, well, I need yeah, to go yeah, to yeah, that yeah. store to get a chicken All right. box. All right, bing, right? All right, so this is what I be telling people, right? Like, I'm from up the hill out there. Like, out Cherry Hill, it's an up the hill and down the hill. Just like it's over east, up the hill and down the hill. Like, but if you uptown... You're not going to say I'm from up the hill. You're going to say I'm from Cherry Hill. Like, you uptown, you just got to say I'm from Cherry Hill. Because up, if you uptown, you say I'm from up the hill, they're going to think you're talking about over east up the hill. Mm -hmm. Or if downhill, they're going to think you're talking about downhill over east. Like, so when we out, we from uptown, you just say I'm from Cherry Hill. But if you out Cherry Hill, somebody ask you where you from, you say up the hill. Like, they got up the hill, then you got down the hill, then you got hillside, Cotton Court, all that type. Like, it's different, big, just so big as parts, Southland and shit like that. Like, that shit, it's the own Lord town. Like, it's the biggest shit. Yo, Cherry Hill. When I was on Cherry Hill, I, I was like, I was like, if I had to live in, in somebody's projects, I kind of want to live out here because it's like it's so secluded. And it's like you only know certain people from Cherry Hill. Like, if, like you making music, so people finding out about Chapo, other places. It's some people in Cherry Hill that people probably don't even know exist. Like, right? Been living in Baltimore for forever. But um, how was it when you moved over east? Like, was that like a culture shock? I was. How was that? I was lost. Like, I ain't gonna lie. When I first moved over east, I was lost. Cause, like. When you out Chai Hill, that's all we see. Like, living out Chai Hill, I wasn't going uptown for nothing. Like, if I wasn't going to a family member house, but, like, I'm at Lee House and I'm going back out Chai Hill, like, I wasn't ever exploring. Like, so when I grew up, like, and niggas moved over east and shit, I'm just looking like lost shit. I ain't gonna lie, I cried and I like, we moved. I was bad as shit when I was young. And, like, so I'm over there and shit, I ain't, like, know what to do. It's, like, streets, like, lower streets, side blocks, alleys, and all uh, that type shit. Like, you like, what the fuck, like? It's like you you don't know what to do, what the what this like how to start moving. Like I ain't know how to meet niggas until I went to school or you'll go to a basketball court or something and that's where you meet niggas like but that shit was different. Like and the the rules was different. Like it's it's crap ball over. These niggas getting these shit knocked off. So he's like, What the fuck? Murders every day. Niggas getting cracked on my block. I swear to God, when I first moved when I first moved down the hill and I went on my block, we like when we get out the U Haul already move in, nigga came up to my mom and I'm like, 
Like, yeah, excuse me, can I get something off y'all porch real quick? Nigga had drugs head on our porch. Like, this shit was so crazy. Like, I'm like, yo, this shit ill already. Like, that shit was real, bro. So what would you say, like, other than, like, because it's negative. What would you say is the biggest difference that you realize between Cherry Hill and East Baltimore? Like, the people. Like, like the type of niggas, like. It might sound crazy, but like some niggas, like you know, got like they got every hood got their own type of swag. Like you can tell, like you'll see a West Baltimore nigga. He like how niggas dressing all like you like oh yeah you you look like a West Baltimore nigga. You like a cherry old nigga. Like we talk different and all that type shit, different slangs, everything. Like so when I came over there and everybody just acting different, looking different. Like nigga be tough as shit. Everybody tough as shit. Like niggas all cherry top, but over east like nigga be it be going down. Like Lord niggas coming up tough as shit. I'm saying low ass kid like. Trying to get guns and all that type shit, like so. It's like, damn, like, like with Chayo, right? It's all love, like you feel what I'm saying. Only the older niggas was beefing out Chayo. I ain't never seen no young niggas beefing out Chayo until I got over east. The young niggas beefing, like low ass niggas trying to kill each other and shit, smacking each other shit off, like so. I'm like, damn, like this shit real. I had to adapt to that, and that's how I like to get uptown for real. Now I know how to move everywhere right east, west, all that type shit. When you got when you got over east, what was the first school you had went to? Uh, I had moved. Moved over east, I moved off of Monument, Monument, yeah. Elwood and shit. I went to Tense Tillman Elementary Middle oh, School right, oh, right. on Monument and Patterson for real. Oh, so you was dead smack in the middle of down the, the hill? Middle, like I was right <laughs> there, like like a lot of niggas be climbing down the hill and they be living like by Patterson Park and all that type of shit. Like you can't, or well, they be all way up there by Northeast Market. Nah, that shit not down the hill for real. Like we call that the top. Like you got Northeast Market and all that shit. All that shit just top. I ain't even really down the hill, but like in the middle, like. Where the DTL and all that shit at, like Madura Street and down, all that downhill till you get to by the street Highland Town. When you in the mix, all of that, you downhill. Like, I ain't think that shit not downhill. Like, what was your, what, I, I want to say, like, what was your best memory of like being over east that you could say? When I first started really getting hot for real, like, you know, when I first started really rapping, I, was, I made the song Who Run It. Like, only the real niggas that really know me. For real, that really seen me since I first started rapping. I'm going to know the song who run it. I took it down and all that. Like, I don't know why the fuck I took it down, but I took it down. I made the who run it. I was on Tense Tell Me Basketball Coach. I was like 14, like, and I really got hot. That's when everybody really started fucking with me. I started making a name over east. Like, everybody down here fucked with me. Like, I made my name for real. And then, ever since then, like, everybody, it's all love down here now. I ain't gonna lie. Once you get down there, everybody love it. Everybody love each other down there. Like, nigga got these little animosity, some people, but. Other than that, I just fucked my eye, but I, I adapted fast. That's what I like the most, that I adapted fast. Like, you feel what I'm saying? If a nigga fuck with you, it's going to be love. Like, you want that real quick. So uh, other than, like, the, the, the tapes that I seen on Apple Music, did you have any tapes before that? Nah, I never dropped the tape. I ain't never know, like, how to do this music shit. I never knew. Like, I just knew, like, YouTube. I ain't know Apple Music and Spotify. And all that type shit, feel me? I ain't even know how to drop off on a platform. Like, you know, you got Distro Kid, United Masters, and all that shit. I didn't have none of that. I just knew, shoot a video, drop it on YouTube. I wasn't even getting paid off of this shit at first. Like, I just was dropping it just, like, I just wanted to get, like, get hot. Like, you feel what I'm saying? I wanted to be noticed. Like, man, that shit just, once I started learning it and started learning how to get paid off of it, and then niggas t uh, showed me the Distro Kid. No, they showed me United Masters first, but I ain't like it, so I switched to Distro Kid. And then once you put it on there, it drop your shit everywhere. Like I get paid off of everything I drop, mm. and that's why I don't do nothing for free. Like like nigga don't understand. I don't do features and all that shit for free. Like I I get paid everything I drop. Right. So, so let's get into your first tape, twenty twenty one, and uh, Cardi Mo, yeah. Before before we get into that, what was your relationship with Katie? <sighs> I, was, I mean that's how I know him. I don't, you, I, I know like, you called him Cuddy, but yeah, that was that. Was, yeah, it was Kitty, but you know, like you know, that nigga got different nicknames. Like, but yeah, I was like a brother. Like I ain't gonna lie, that that yo really helped me. Like I wouldn't be where I'm at without Kitty. Like a lot of niggas can't admit no shit like that, but I really wouldn't be in the position that I'm in. Like the city wouldn't really know me, like because I ain't really had that grind I really had until I met Kitty. Like you feel what I'm saying? Like it was like. He calling me at nine o'clock in the morning. Like when I was around Joe, he ain't want me to pay for nothing. Like that's how I did serious he was. Like, like if I pay for it, you gotta go. Like, why would you not go? It's free. So that's what he wouldn't do. Like, bro, I'm gonna pay for all this shit. Like, one time we stayed in a in a studio. And this is my first met him. As soon as I met him, we got straight to work. Mm -hmm. Fam, so that's my brother cousin though. Like I knew your mom like my whole life, Danny. I was trying to heal, but I was younger, so I wasn't never really around him. Right. But then, like when we started 
uh, working in the studio. We'd be in the studio for four days straight. Swear to God, dirty as shit. Same drawers, unarms, banging everything. We not leaving. Like, I right, top you got work. I go to sleep. Here, wake me up in like three hours. Yo, you think you got something now? I'm gone. Like, like right, that shit was crazy. Like, and then that's when I made the closed curtains. And I came out when I dropped that. That's my first song that brought me out. Closed curtains. Like, that's how the city know me. Like, it ain't really do too many many numbers how I wanted to, but that bitch doing like over 150,000 views on YouTube. So like, we ain't got, we only got but so many people in Baltimore. So like, the whole city know that. You feel what I'm saying? And then we, we made a uh, big step, but uh, and the comeback and all of that. Like, and that big step, but that's over 100,000 too. Like on YouTube, like, like a lot of shit. Like I really put that ground on with KD. Like, and then I had got locked up. Like, that was my mouth with you every single day, and he kept telling me like. Like, yo, leave that shit alone. You can't be one foot in the streets, one foot in trying to get in the industry. Because they don't like that shit. Like, you know the, the record label, Authentic Empire? Mm -hmm. I was supposed to get signed with them. 2020. Swear to God. I put it get signed. I got, I got finding on my uh, on my archives. I had that, I had an uh, interview with them. And I sat I sat down in the interview with all of them. I, they played my songs. They liked it for real. And I was supposed to go down there. But I ended up getting booked. So I was on a bot. So I couldn't go. Feel me? And then he just begged me. Like, bro, you fucking shit up. Like, you fucking opportunities up. Like. This money, like you can get your peoples out the hood. Like, I was 16, 17. Like, I could have really had that that goal. Like and I got booked again after that. And then that's when I Jeez. sat down. I sat down for Danny. Yeah, I got booked with a Mac 11. I sat down and then as soon as I got booked, Katie got killed. Mm. That shit hurt me so bad. I, swear, I really cried hard as shit on the tail. Like grown man tears, like on the tail, I'm on the phone. I'm over telling me, like, yeah, Katie just got killed. I'm like, what? And then we just fussing. Mm. I ain't never fussed with Joe a day in my life. And the first time I fussed with Joe, I fussed with him over the dead phone. He got killed. What well, was something that he, like, showed you or taught you that you'll never forget? He showed me how to network. Like, he told me, like, bro, it's not just music. It's business. Like, you mm -hmm. feel what I'm saying? You want to get somewhere with this shit. You don't want to just keep dropping. You don't want this clout. Fuck that clout shit. Like, trying to get them papers. Like, I'd rather be rich and famous. Like, any day. Like, like I'd rather be a nobody, a rich-ass nobody. Like, as long as I know my people straight, my daughter's good. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, and he was showing me that how to network. Like, I like I hollered at Project Pat and all that, like, because of KD. Like, I started networking and I got the features and shit because of KD. I don't like, my pride be so big, I don't like reaching out to niggas for no features. Like, I don't like doing that. But KD made me really, yeah, like, how I started fucking with Tato and how I started fucking with Izzy. I did the song with Izzy and, and, and Young Don and all of them. I met all of them because of KD. You know what I'm saying? Like, he reached out. I ain't never know nothing. He called me, like, bro. We got a feature with such and such, man. Like, oh, all right. Did y'all have any music like that's out? Nah, man. KD ain't never do nothing. Wow. That's the crazy I was, part. That's and what I that was looking for. That broke me. That broke well, okay. me. Okay. That broke me. Like, me and KD never did nothing. Yo, ain't never want to get in there. He just wanted me to do it. Like, yo, just go in. I'm like, bitch, get on this one. Like, nah, bitch, you know I'm in this for you. Like, I'm all in. Like, if you look, like, like right now, if you go on his Instagram page, Cause you know his he died, but you gonna, I'm his profile <laughs> picture. Pro I, I I said, I'm your profile picture. I'm in his bio. Chapo got now. Like, all that type shit. I'm on mm -hmm. every picture. Free Chapo. Like, he talking about me in every caption and all. Like, he bumping all my music, playing and all that. Like, like my man was all in. I swear to God. That man, will put he'll, he'll put his last dollar behind me. Like, real shit. All my videos and all that. Like, Coles Curtain, Big Step and all that. Katie paid for that shit. Like, like without me even asking. Like, bro, we shooting a video. Because I was always shitballing. I ain't want this shit for real. Like. But until he really showed me, like, bro, you got to work, bro. This shit more than just clout, bro, and music. Like, bro, you got to really get paid out this shit. You got to get the business out of this shit. Like, that's why a lot of bum-ass rap is so famous, even though they some shit, because they know how to network. Like, they, it's, it ain't about what you know, it's who you know. You can make a million songs, bro. It's a lot of rappers. It's a lot of rappers, bro, that I know got so many views, but ain't nowhere. Mm. Fuck them views. You got to network. Like, you got to put that paper behind that shit, so... I ain't never really noticed that until bro died and I got I grew up right? and then that shit like that's too late. You know what I'm saying? But that was like one of the things that like I would like I was saying like I didn't know that you had moved over east and that's how I just thought you had network with the people in Zona Five because if you looking under your comments you got Moose you got you got a whole bunch you got Chris you got everybody like from different areas of town yeah in your comments because like bro nigga really fuck with me bro like if it's real like. Nigga fuck with a nigga if they real, bro. Like, and I don't even like to brag. I'm as humble as he come, bro. But like, bro, ain't no, no bad on my name, bro. Like, like from the jail to the streets, bro. I ain't never rat. I ain't never fool, bro. Nigga never beat me up. Never ruled me out. A lot of these rappers got a lot of shit that's behind them. But you know we ain't gonna get into that. But 
None of that never happened, bro. Like, I ain't never been no bitch. That nigga, nigga never played with me. Like, I always been real nigga, bro. Like, and I reach out to niggas, bro. Like, when I holler, nigga, I really holler. Like, underrated Chris, that's my dub. Like, real shit. Yo been fucking with me since, like, since, like, 20, probably, like, 20 fucking, I can't even think, bro. He been, he was one of the first rappers to ever look out for me. Like, hollered at me since I made the whole run. I was 14. Mm -hmm. He was the first rapper commenting on my shit. Bad Hunter Judd. You know, he wasn't as big as... You know what I'm saying the rest of them, but he was a real nigga and he had his foot in the door. Is he in the door? He in the door automatically. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He looked out for me. I was a real nigga. I fought with Jug, long lived Jug. But like a lot of niggas really was fucking with me from the get go and I fucked with him. Like, like Moose, Moose, that's, I met like Moose because of my brother, like Bullet. That was Bullet Man. You know what I'm saying? So like I met him because of him. I was like, you know what I'm saying? I met him. He was fucking with me. So I was like, all right, bing. He seen I was hard as shit. He seen I was taking the serious. Mm -hmm. He hopped on it. That was my man. Like a lot of niggas I really been fucking with for a minute. Like, a lot of these rappers, we already, you know what I'm saying? A lot yeah. of rappers in the city. I want to say, like, anytime I see Young Moose on a tape with, like, an up-and-coming artist, I always got to ask the artist, how do it feel to have, like, especially with that being your first tape, how do it feel to have Young Moose as an artist on your tape, your first tape of that? Yeah, it was on the tip, like, because cause I wasn't really looking at it, like, it's Young Moose. Like, you feel what I'm saying? It's bro. That's my man. Like, you feel right. That's that bro. Like, I... I was hanging around the nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> call a nigga, call his phone. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I wasn't looking at it like that. I hit him, bro. Fuck, bitch, we ready hit the booth. Like, what you doing? Like, you got to take moves. I ain't gonna lie, sometimes you got to take his ass. Yo, don't be trying. He be playing around sometimes. You got to take him. Like, he gonna know you dead serious. Like, man, we, I'm ready. I'm telling him, like, yo, I'm ready. Drop this tape. You know what I'm saying? I got this shit for you to get on. Come on. Like, we went in there. We actually did more than one, just one song together. But the studio nigga fucked our first song up. Like, and man, Moose did that step in that song, Cutty Mo. We went back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Like, we was walking that bitch down. I'm talking about it's hot as shit in the studio. So I'm trying to move fast. But you know, we both don't write. So we punching in. This nigga Moose take a long as shit. <laughs> 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 he burnt that bitch though. Shit, but, but like, as a person, like, I'm from over east. So it's like, when I think of Moose, I think of like a legend. I think of a guy. I, I remember being 14, listening to Moose. Yeah, you got to give him his pride. And, and freaking like, I, I I feel like it, if I ever was in the same room, Moose it'd be like a nostalgic feeling for me because I remember just was was you around when he was doing like the bringing the celebrities, bringing like um the guy that's with Boosie. And nah, I wasn't around when he first started doing that. You gotta give him his props though, like like you know what I'm saying yo, every hood got their own like mm -hmm. their own. You know what I mean? Coming out of it, like Chad Hill had Slick, you know. Over east you got Moose, you know. Over west you had Scooter, like you know what I'm saying. Like every hood had the like, back then, it was only a few rappers that you heard. Like, mm -hmm. now, the whole city rapping. Like, I fucking hate that shit. But definitely got to give it to him. Like, he, he earned it. Like, so. So, how, how was it, like, being from Cherry Hill when y'all, like, having Slick as a representation of South Baltimore? I mean, it was, it was, it was, it was, because, like, once again, like, that was my mind. Like, mm -hmm. so it was like, I ain't really look at it how everybody else look at it. I'm just, like, giving them, bro, that's bro. I'm going to give him his flower. Like, damn, bitch, you. Looking good, like you got this shit in the knot, like you feel what I'm saying? Then him and Moose linked up, did the shot rack and shit. So that's when they really me Trey Hill fuck with down the hill, like mm -hmm. like a lot of shit, like so. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I remember saying bullet in some of those videos. But you ain't ever in any of those videos? Yeah, <laughs> I was young. <laughs> yeah, if you look up the uh, GGO Slick Chang Chang video, I, this shit. So I think that's the funny. one I could see Bullet in. I, was was he in that one? Yeah, he I was in that with me and okay. Bullet. Like Bullet hanging all out the, out the top of the roof, out the sunroof for real slow mo. Bottles in his hand. He shagging. I'm young as shit, bro. I, I you ain't gonna know it's me until I really explain who I am. I got the black collar shirt on with a bush. You can tell like that's a project, baby. Like <laughs> dirty ish. I'm dirty. I'm mad as shit. I slip for that. He just <laughs> he just was talking about. This. We just talked shit not that long ago for real. Niggas saw me the uh, screenshot of me in the video. I'm like, bro, I'm mad as shit. I can't just take this video down. Like, <laughs> nigga, dirty as shit. <laughs> nigga, dirty as shit. Little four nine eight with the baggy jeans. With the baggy. Shit, you had the four nine eights back then. The power was where, yeah. I was, was shagging yeah. though. Like you feel me? It's like that's fuck it. I was project B. I was young, so like I just was living life as a young nigga, as a kid. I wasn't worrying about nothing, opinions, and I wasn't worrying about females and all that. I was trying to get the next game system and playing football. Think. Do Do you think, like, Cherry Hill, or do you think South Baltimore has a representation in Baltimore hip-hop uh, as of 2024? I think I think South Baltimore the most slept on when it comes to music in Baltimore. I feel like we the most slept on. Like, mm -hmm. 
feel what I'm saying? Like, it's a lot of hard-ass niggas coming out of South Baltimore. Like, and, like, niggas don't got as much represent like representation. Like, you got to think. You just know the West and the East. You mm-hmm. feel what I'm saying? Scooters and the Mooses and the Mahdi's and Underrated and Izzy and all of them. Like, most of these niggas, the East and West. Like, you feel what I'm saying? You don't really see too many Souths. Like, well, like that should be. So this is this a question that I had for another South Baltimore rapper, but I feel like this is a kind of an important question. You got your East Side certified song. You got your West Side certified song. If you had to put a South Side certified song, including yourself, you gonna have four total people. What three artists would you put in there? On the Who, South, on the South Baltimore, on the South Side certified song. Yeah, fuck yeah, I throw myself on there for sure. But I, I got I gotta pick like niggas from I can't just pick them off from the same hood. I wanna have it from different niggas from different hoods of the South like different parts of South Baltimore, like so coming out of Chai Hill, of course I'm gonna say me. Mm-hmm. But then like Hmm shit. I ain't gonna say three, I gotta say a couple. I I gotta say a couple. Like uh, on listen song, a couple because you're about to sound to be 10 it minutes. It can't be too long, but it got to be a couple. I can't say too. I fuck with too many South Baltimore niggas. That's rapping. So it's like, it'd be hard. Like, I fuck with some niggas. Like, it, it'd be, it'd be, I see ATM Leak. I fuck with ATM Leak. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And he ain't really got the recognition. Like, Where he from? Thing. He from down south. I can't remember exactly where okay. he from, but he, he South Baltimore. Not Chai Hill, but South Baltimore. Like, okay. And, like, you got the, you got the, you got the TWG niggas, like TWG, man, man, Biscuit, like, you feel what I'm saying? I TWG heard, I heard Biscuit. I Biscuit, I heard that Biscuit. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you got to get on, catch on to them, you feel what I'm saying? I'm a South Baltimore nigga, and I don't really, really know them too personally, but, you feel what I'm saying? How you feel like I'm a, shit, that's, I'm a that's real, real nigga. Man, I'm a real that's nigga, bro. Like, I'm a real nigga. Like, right. nigga pride be so big, I'm going to give it how I'm supposed to give, you feel what I'm saying? Like, then you got the motherfucking, who else? Like, I can't really name too many, bro. Like, there's a couple of niggas that I'm really fucking with from down South Baltimore that rap, like. Shit, shout them out. I, I, I want to hear because might niggas. be put I'm going to throw my brother on it. You feel what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Bulliano, I got to throw bullet on it. Like, coming from the hills, you got to put that on there. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Uh, who else I can get from the South? Like, on the South end. It's hard, bro. It's too many. It's, it ain't, I mean, ain't really too many South Baltimore rappers, bro. It, it's It's a couple. I mean, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't know, like, you know, it's Baltimore. I don't want to say some names and you'd be like, oh, I don't fuck with yo. But yeah, because I mean, some niggas I really ain't, like, some niggas I really don't be fucking. I mean, what And it don't even be personal. Like, it don't even be like a nigga don't personally fuck with him. But, like, you might, you might just, yo might just be fucking with some niggas I don't fuck with. So, it's like, oh, that automatically made me. Because I, I would say, like, the YMC campaign. Um, see, I would say uh, like yeah. Stay True, Brooklyn. Stay True. Yeah, Art the Rip. Fuck yeah, I'm yeah. geeking. I ain't like, want to say because I ain't want to be look, like, look, yeah. Look, look, stay True, Art the Rip. Stay True, Art the Rip. For sure. Like, my nigga D-Nice, free D-Nice, bro. Like, I fuck with nigga. Like, man, bro burnt the digital pep rally together one day. Like, that's my, I fuck with D-Nice, bro. Like, I fuck with you for sure. Like, mom, see, I, I fuck with my mom, see, cool for real. I fuck with mom, see. Like, I can't even, I, and then I, but that's what I'm saying. Like South Baltimore probably isn't as represented as it could be because you think South Baltimore, you come to mind. I'm just talking about as a, from a DJ perspective, as a person that checks out different artists, Stay True, Slick, and the, the Skinos and the people that he rap with. Why yeah. I'm seeing, and that's it. Wait, yeah, that's when you got to say GGL, like. You just say GGO, you got to say GGO. Like, cause I don't want to, like, slick skin over the cuzzes and them, mm-hmm. and, and my man Tiggity. Like, you feel what I'm saying? That's my dub. You feel what I'm saying? Like, so you just say GGO. Like, they, they all come as a whole. You feel what I'm saying? Like, shit like that. And then you just say the hooligans. Like, like G, a lot of them niggas in GGO was hooligans. Like, you feel what I'm saying? We from up the top 2700. Like, that's, we all the same. We from the same hood. Like, that's all same thing. Like, free the hooligans too, though. Like, for real. Do you think jail has like other than the one situation with the signing with the, um, the management company? Do you think jail has like slowed you down? Yes, yes. Fuck yeah, fuck yeah. Niggas don't know like it's real. When you go to jail, you flopping. Like niggas don't be understanding. Like a lot of niggas go to jail and come back and be yeah. But when you go to jail, you flopping. Like 
not everybody. I can't speak for everybody, but you know, I'm man enough to say I went, I wasn't how I was when I came home from when before I got booked. Before I got booked, I had the city. I'm gonna keep that shit a bing. 2020 summer was my shit. That was my shit. When I dropped the closed curtains and the big steps and the comebacks and all that, bro, that was my shit, that's bro. The, like, that's the about the year uh, I heard about you. You yep. feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I was banging, bro. No young, no young nigga in the city was fucking with me at that time. And I'm gonna keep that shit a thousand, like, and niggas know that, bro. Like. I was on every every fucking blog blog pages and all of that, like getting threw up, bro. I was sixteen, seventeen, bro, I'm talking that shit. You know what I'm saying in the video, but I was doing hot shit, and that's what fucked me up. You know, so I meet the good times and all of that, but I was doing hot shit. I'm big ass guns in the video, choppers and Max and, and this and that and that Glocks and all that. And you notice now, from before I got booked, is a big ass difference. Like you don't see no guns and all that in my videos. You don't see the same amount of niggas that you seen in the first videos in these videos. Mm -hmm. Cause then I came home, I learned. Like when you go to jail, you learn. You don't just go to jail to just sit in that way. You fucking you supposed to fucking learn. Like, teach yourself. You only got time to do. Like, it's, it's just you and your brain in that bitch. So I really educated myself on how to move. Like I really had a book. I used to write that. I used to write in the book, like, mm -hmm. like what I'm gonna do, like my goals and plans in life, like how I'm gonna carry myself. Like, and I'm still ain't. I'm still ain't really there. Like I'm still, still working every day. You know. No, I want. I want to say. I, I want to say. I genuinely love to hear you say. You know, I love to hear any young black person talk about gold, especially a male. Females, they open stores, they doing hair, they building businesses. Mm -hmm. so I love to hear like a young black man talking about goals and what they trying to accomplish, especially because you wrote it down and you, you can always look back at it. Even if you don't accomplish it this year or next year or last year, right? You can I look. Still I'm go only, back and get it. I'm only twenty, bro. I be 21 this year. I'm only 20, bro. I'm young as shit, bro. A lot of niggas, a lot of rappers ain't make this shit. They been rapping for 12 years before they made it. Shit like that. Like, like watching a lot of niggas' videos, Meek Mill and all them videos, them niggas been rapping for so many years before they really got in there. Like, so I was like, I don't look at this shit. Like, I ain't even rapping that long. I don't even think I've been rapping for five years. Like, constantly. I mean, um, consistently rapping. Like, I just need to, like... I already know how I got. I got drop more videos and all that type of shit. Like, but nigga don't be understanding. Everybody just be hitting my DM and all that, bro. Drop this, drop that, bro. We need more music. We need more music, bro. We gotta think, bro. I'm a human. Like, mm -hmm. real life shit going on, bro. Like, a lot of niggas, niggas just think like I'm supposed to just keep rapping all day long, bro. Nah, bro. Like, I got kids and all that, bro. And I'm a family man too. You know what I'm saying I got life. Nigga be having depression problems and all of that, bro. Going through personal shit. Like sometimes I don't need be. Sometimes I be saying fuck that shit. Like, but. Then I be having to remember why I'm doing it. Like, so I snap back in, take a little break, and then come back. Like, that's all it be. Let's get back to the music aspect of, of it all. You dropped a new tape this year. Yeah. I want to say every year except for 2022, you dropped a tape. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Every year. Yeah. Every, uh, Desperado. Desperado. Where that name come from? All right, bang. I don't know if niggas know the movie, but it's the movie called Desperado. Like, mm -hmm. they, they like, it's like some Spanish, Spanish cowboy thug ass niggas. Like that shit hard as shit. Like I seen that movie and I never, I never really knew what it meant until I looked the name up, like to find the name. It's like, like it's a desperate, like a desperate criminal. Like yeah, desperate or reckless you know person, saying? desperate, especially a criminal. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, it don't give a fuck about nothing behind it. Like you gotta stand on everything you doing or did, and that's why if you notice in my picture. My uh, cover, it's a mug shot. Mm. Uh, that's my mug shot. A lot of niggas. It don't gave like a though. cowboy thing to a lot of Like, you get the it, picture, yeah. it's the wanted picture. You found right. standing, that's my mug shot. Like, a lot of niggas be thinking I just stood there and me that dumbass picture. I was really mad as shit in that picture, bro. It's a mug shot, bro. It's probably my fucking. I can't even know what time I went to jail. Like, I've been to jail hell of time, so I was like, bro, a lot of niggas, like, fam, I'm saying, like, but a nigga definitely want to see you better. Like, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't. Promoting that though, like I want nigga to understand, I'm not promoting that. That's just me. I'm talking about myself. I'm not saying that's what I'm doing now, but that's the shit that I be going through. Like real life shit, nigga be getting booked in and out of jail, probation. I gotta keep going to see gun and fender people and all of that, and police on a nigga's ass and all that type shit. Then you ducking op ass niggas like this shit real. Like this shit ain't just music. Nigga gotta live every day. Like mm -hmm. so, that's how I came. Like that's for and that's that's what me and I give you hella flows. I give you, I know how to harmonize it. I can rap about pain, sh struggle, turn up songs and the songs that the city like to hear too. Lord, no get down songs, all that type shit. But I be trying to give a nigga every type of flow, but nigga really need to turn in on that. Like if you didn't already, cause that shit that every song is no misses. In, in your opinion, like 
what was like the difference between like when you for your first tape Cutty Mode and then Desperado. Desperado, I elevated like a motherfucker. Like I elevated like my word playing flows and all of that. Like if you look like from Cutty Mode to Desperado, every tape I just got harder. I got harder every tape. Like I be, I can admit myself. And I be hearing all the new shit. I don't even be like the head of old shit. Like for real. Like when something people be coming around me and they be playing like closed curtains and all of that, bro. That shit be irking me. When I when people be asking me to perform at parties and I get there and they cut closed curtains on, I'm like, what the fuck? I dropped four tapes after this song. Like why right. the fuck? I don't want to perform this song, but it's like you gotta get them what they want at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying they be like, yeah, uh, we want you. This is party for a fifteen year old, sixteen year old. I'm like all right, yeah, all right, just let them. Tell him I don't be wanting to pick my own songs. You know what I'm saying I don't want to pick this. I want you to pick what you like out of me. Right. And you cutting close curtains on, bro, and uh, big step and all that. Like, don't get me wrong, they classic. Them songs is hard as shit. But it's like, come on, bro. I was sixteen. I'm yeah. twenty. Come on, bro. I'm not trying to hear that. Right. <laughs> I, I got my, you. You gotta think the voice and all of that. The the voice crack and all of that. Like my voice deeper, so it'd be hard trying to rap like that. Like you can hear how I'm different on a mic rapping with that song. Like I don't even sound the same. So. I should be, it'd be hard. What was your process like being in the studio, like recording these songs? Mm, you know, I don't write. Mm. So it's like, I gotta be, I gotta be focused. Like I have to be focused. Like if, and I gotta book a certain amount of hours cause I like to make a lot of songs. I can make, I make songs so fast, but like so fast. If you've been to anybody, any rap man to say that been to the booth with me, know that and said it like, bro, this nigga work fast as shit. Like I book. If I book an hour, I can make three songs in an hour. Mm -hmm. Like, real shit. Like, I can make three songs in an hour, depending on how I'm really feeling. I can make three songs in an hour. So, like, when I be getting five hours, I, I make hella songs. Like, because I like to get five hours max. Sometimes I get three, depending. Like, if I'm, if I'm on, working on a certain type of song, but I get five hours just to go in there and fuck around. But I make hella songs. Like, and I don't like to hear the beat until I get to the booth. I don't write. So, like, I get to the booth, then get in that mode, get in the booth. Listen to the beat. He be like, yo, what beat we doing? I be like, I don't know. I call my man, my beat man, like, you feel what I'm saying? And I ain't even just my beat man, that's my brother, my man Cior. You feel what I'm saying? Shout out Cior Music. Like, y'all got to look on Instagram. His name Cior Music on Instagram. Make beats, get at him for the beats and all of that. Like, for 2700 Youngin and Desperado, all the beats came from Cior. Okay. okay. Every beat on the, both of them tapes just came from my man Cior. Hey, young nigga, like 21. Make hard ass beats. He made beats for hell. It was crazy because I was when I was listening to your music. Like when I was listening to your catalog, I'm like, he got a hard ass beat selection, bro. This nigga young as shit, my man. I talk to this nigga CEO every day. This nigga irky as shit. Baltimore. He from Atlanta. Oh, okay, okay. You know what I'm okay. But he moved to Baltimore. He lived back in Atlanta, but he moved to. He be bouncing back and forth, like. So he talk like he make music too, but he ain't dropped nothing yet. He coming though. I swear he ready drop. I mean, he be sending me everything, all this shit. But how you meet him? Uh, just going to the booth one day, like it was on some crazy, some crazy shit. Like you know, some niggas just be having engineers, but like some you gotta build a bond. That's how niggas get get further a lot. Like when I met Cior, I already knew like I fuck with him. That's a cool young nigga, like his vibe. And he talking all that Atlanta shit. I used to laugh at how he talking and shit. Like, and then he seen like I was hard as shit. So I'm like, all right, bang. And I seen his beats was hard as shit. So I'm like, damn, like and that we started fucking with each other a lot. And then heavy, like I met him because of my cousin. He was my cousin, man. And then my cousin took me to the booth. And then I met him and got his number and got his Instagram. We started topping it up. That been my math way over. Like that probably my math for like two years, two years of some change. I talk to him every day, bro. Every day. Like do do he like put you on with like different stuff that's going on in Atlanta? Because Atlanta catch on the music way faster than up here. <laughs> yeah. And I be telling him that, like, bro, you gotta get in that mode. Like he said he just started talking like by little managers and I'm like Oh, okay. So they trying to get him locked down with that, like. But I, I gotta let him get himself right first before he get me right down there. Like you know what I'm saying? I want you to get in the door first, cause it's gonna be easier. You know what I'm saying? But I'm definitely getting him on this shit, like, cause he don't really. His, his he got the pride thing too. He don't really be reaching out to niggas too down there. Like he right. just like to be by himself, make music. He in the booth all day down there. If not, he you know making his money and shit like that. But you been down there? Fuck yeah. no, I ain't never yeah. been on a plane, bro. Never. Uh, Atlanta is like the music mecca, like right now in like the United States. Like people just going down there to work. I don't even think some people was meeting people down there. I think you know you see Baltimore artists just get on a plane, go down there, and sometimes they work with other Baltimore artists. But just like Atlanta, just I've been to Atlanta. Atlanta is where it's at. I've met people from all over the country. Like 
nobody I met in Atlanta was from Atlanta. They say that though. <laughs> nobody I they say that. I I'm I'm locked there with people in Detroit, the Carolinas. I don't think I nobody down there was like, yo, I'm from Atlanta. Like, nice to meet you. Like, they oh, I'm from here. I'm from here. I like people driving fifteen hours to get to Atlanta just to go in these studios and possibly meet somebody. Yeah, shit like that. Like I gotta get on a plane, bro. I definitely wanna go down to Atlanta for sure. Like it's not like Atlanta or Houston or Cali. That's it. Atlanta, Houston, Cali. That's where the fuck you go to blow at. Literally. Like I don't it, I don't be hearing about a big big Texas scene like music wise. I just started hearing about a couple Texas rappers, like a couple of them. Even for as big as Texas to be, but um I wanna get back to your project though. Mm-hmm. Uh, just what you said. I was, you know, I I be really listening to music, so I be wanting to right. hear like, is you gonna say something, and then it's sometimes like, is this something I can play in, in in front of people? But you said uh, on Project Babe, you said I had to take a break from rap to uh focus work on my flaws. What what was like? Yeah. What were some things you had to work on in your own mind, like sharing it with me? Like, like how I said, like it'd be reality. Like you feel what I'm saying. I be going through lower stages too, like you feel what I'm saying. Nobody noticed though, cause I don't really like to talk about my problems to people. Like, like I talk to my mother. Like, it's a, a safe of, place right here. A <laughs> lot of grown men, lot yeah, a lot of grown men though don't like to open up. Uh, the nigga be feeling too gangster, like, and I feel like when you tell people your nigga be spitting that shit at your face when they get mad. The, so that's the bottom. That's like a Baltimore mentality. When I hear people talk about Baltimore, like as a person that lived here forever, like never lived nowhere else. It's definitely a mentality that, like, when you get older, you start to realize, like, how people have, you have to carry certain stuff. Yeah. You can't like, really open up or share or or show any weakness or flaws because people take advantage of you. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. Like, you'll be going through certain shit or something to happen or you got some personal shit and you talk to somebody, like, they gotta tell your business. You get mad, they throw it in your face. Like, you feel what I'm saying? And I be, and I don't like to talk, I don't like to talk about my problems, so I be letting that shit fuck me up. So I stop rapping. I chill for a second, like, or when I do finally open up, mm-hmm. I hit the booth, I make a hard-ass pain song, like, you got to listen to the song, Getting Real, on 2700 Young, Getting Real, or Project Poetry, listen to the uh, Project Poetry, you feel what I'm saying? Every fucking tape, the intro be hard as shit, like, because I want, I want the song, I want the song, like, the first song. That make me think, all right, I gotta hear the rest of the tape. I don't wanna listen to a project of the first song not hard. You feel me? Like Baltimore yeah. just intros. Like if your intro not hard, I'm cut your tape off. You know the rest of the shit when you phone it. Like this is how you introduce me to this shit. Like you you might get one song you know somewhere in the middle that's kinda cool. But if you if you ain't thinking like, yo, this is the very beginning, this need to catch everybody, you ain't really trying to get nobody to listen to it, to be honest. Exactly. Exactly. I swear to God, like but yeah, like on a flaws tip, like that's just what it be like. I be having some personal shit that I be going through. Like sometimes I be feeling like, you know what I'm saying? Even though a nigga grinding for this shit, sometimes I ain't where I want to be in life. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I might feel like this rapping shit taking too fucking long. Like, mm-hmm. like it don't work. Other than the rapping shit, you still got real shit outside. You still got meat money outside. You still got to do everything outside. Like, to get you where you're going. Believe it or not, a lot of niggas that made it with the rap shit ain't make it from fucking rap money. Mm-hmm. They didn't. So, like, some shit be fucking me up. I be losing nigga. Like, my man's like, niggas be dying or. You know what I'm saying? Nigga be fighting with jail shit. Like, a lot of shit. So, like, last thing that be on a nigga mind is music, bro. Like, music don't come first for me. It don't. Like, family do. Like, paper do. Like, a lot of shit do. Like, so, it be a mind thing. Is it, like, a certain amount of money you'll say, like, I could, I, I would have to get to that's, like, not 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 extreme, like, a hundred million, but is it a certain amount of money you'll think, like, oh, in Baltimore, like, I'll be good and now I can focus on music like you like you trying to get to to like really focus on music? I mean, I just gotta feel it. I can't even say exact amount. I just gotta feel it. Like I know like, all right, that shit gotta give me that. We in there. And then Baltimore nigga be thinking they rich with fucking 50 bands. Like, nigga 50 be, bands in Baltimore, you damn near yeah, fucking nigga giddy. Be, <laughs> you feel me? Nigga be rich as shit with 50 in Baltimore. So man, like, fuck, niggas man. will make 50 look good with 20s. That tens. <laughs> you throw a couple I seen a post. I seen a post. This shit was so funny. I seen a post in Baltimore. Nigga, nigga get five hundred dollars in twenties, and now we know what the fuck going on. <laughs> you got, you got. Uh, that's that, yo, That's so real. Like yo, in Baltimore, we ain't used to all the designer stores that you might like. Like what we see 
And like online, where we go online, I want to get me some designer clothes. Down in Atlanta, that shit just in the stores. That's, that's, that, that's that regular yeah, mall. Yeah, like, like, what the fuck? Like, bottom line. I'm talking about you walking through the malls. You, I want you to see it for yourself. If, when you go down to Atlanta. I got, I got to, bro. Got to. Niggas' priorities be fucked up up here, too. Nigga be having the outfit to be five bands. They got zero dollars in their pocket. Mm -hmm. They fresh as shit on the bus stop. Hey, like, what the fuck? They ain't got no car. They ain't got no house. But your outfit, five bands. You could have got an apartment. Like, nigga be fucked up. Like, and that's the type of shit that be killing me. Like, but yes. a lot of shit, bro. I just be having a little problem, so. I'd be taking a break from the rap and shit, but I can't keep taking too many breaks because how the fuck long how I'm gonna expect to blow. I gotta put my pride to the side, start opening up with the music. I use the music to open up, right? Like, that's why I'm gonna go gonna give y'all hard as shit. Believe it or not, I don't like keep talking all that murder shit, spending bands on that, da 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 da. You know what I'm saying? Like anybody can rap that shit. And they be niggas be bluffing. Like, so it's like, you don't know who lying nowadays. Oh no, nah, shit. Everybody making it look like they they the murder mind. Like, all you gotta do is sound believable. Right. Make it sound believable. Shoot a video that's like acting out what you saying. All that niggas gonna believe you. Bitches gonna be on your dick. Like niggas gonna. Gangsters are respect of bluffing ass nigga. Don't even know he bluffing. Like so, like sometimes I be uh, this shit. And that's why I like rapping pain and struggle. Cause mm -hmm. a nigga can't rap that. Nigga can't rap your pain and struggle. They can't. Like anybody can rap and say some shit that you said, but you can't say what I've been through. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I like rapping that type of shit. Like, I want to just say like Baltimore is just a, a addicted to negativity. Mm hmm. Every rapper that ever did it, their biggest song is a diss song. Because that's what the city like. That's what they the love. City I'm talking about, shit, I'm talking bro, about like, you could, you, you, your diss song could do a million, two million views. Your regular songs where you still hard. 100,000, mm -hmm. 70,000. You know, but you let you diss somebody with some status or with a name. You up. Man, now that's... You're the biggest rapper now, of that year. The, not knowing... That's the image you just set for yourself. Mm -hmm. Now, and that's what they gonna expect you to keep rapping. Like, if you don't keep rapping like that, you gonna flop every time. I don't diss. You know what I'm saying I talk my shit. Like, I'm gonna say some shit. Nigga might get mad. I might say some shit. A nigga know what I'm talking about, but I don't do all that name dropping and all that. Cause not, no, yeah, y'all trying to get hot, but y'all being hot too. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Don't be hot trying to get hot. Police is watching. Fed is watching. You talking about the murders? You saying your name and all of that? You don't think they coming? They might not come right now, but well, yeah, they taking that down. They waiting for you to keep talking about it. They gonna come grab your ass, play your song in court. You gonna be mad as shit. You trying to name drop? You trying to put on for these bitches and all of that? Like, bro, you really doing that? What you saying? You doing, bro? Put that footwork in, bro. Don't keep talking about that shit, bro. Like, come on, bro. You know what's going on. Like, them, them police is playing nigga songs in court. You getting booked for that type shit now. So, I ain't saying no names, my son. I'm not dissing for real. I'm gonna just say what I want to say. If you know it's about you, it's about you. But I ain't gonna say your name. Only man you know. If it was somebody that you could like put on Desperado, like you, you could just any any feature in the city, anybody you want. You already plugged in with a bunch of people. I was just saying, I got who, a lot who, of features. Who, who would who would you who would you put on there that that didn't make the tape or? Oh, uh, OTR. I fuck with OTR chairs, heavy. What song would you put them on? You had to choose one. Fuck, uh, I'll put your one. Uh. I probably put him on outside. Like, I probably put him on outside. Like, let me see. Like it's so crazy. Like let me take five seconds real quick and hit these notes real quick and look at my tape. Cause like, I know like you gotta put him on. You can put him on any song. He gonna he gonna get in that mode. Like you but, like that melodic sound. Yeah, that certain he, sound. He 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 sweat. Baltimore has those specific Chaz, sounds. Chaz got his own his own thing. Like, you can't say a nigga sound like him. That man right. brung, it, brung his own sound. If you notice, when he first started rapping, he ain't sound like that neither. No. You know what I'm saying? He rapping like this, but then he found that that flow he, like, he wanted, and now he got his own shit. i definitely put you on either outside or deserve it. I'll put him on outside or deserve it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. i put niggas on shit like that. Like, I, like, Cause I believe it or not, Chad is supposed to be on Project Poetry. He's right. supposed to be on Project Poetry. I holler at y'all. I fuck with Chad. Chad fuck with me. Like Chad, he he been fucking with my shit. Like I give that to Chad. Even though man, Chad ain't got nothing yet, but he a real nigga. Like I fuck with Chad. Like he be supporting me on the low. Like mm -hmm. he got DMs and shit talking. Like he's supposed to be on Project Poetry, but I told him like, yeah, I was ready to drop. And like, I'm ready to drop right. Like I mean, this is my last studio session. I'm ready to drop. And then he was he had a session at the same time, so like he cut me. So like. 
I dropped. I gave people a certain date that I was going to drop it on, so I couldn't wait. I dropped it. Yeah. But I put uh, D nice. I want D nice on something because it's like South Baltimore, Brooklyn, Chai Hill. They mm-hmm. neighbors. You know what I'm saying? I'd have put him on that. That D nice flow. I got the D nice flow, but that's not on Desperado. That's on Project Poetry. Right. But like, well, I put him on Annoying. Mm. That's what the city fucking with out of Desperado. They are like Annoying. Like, so that's what I'm, I'm going to shoot that that's video. That's what I would say. You got to shoot a video to it then. I'm going to shoot that video. But yeah. I got to shoot that in like a club or something and shit like that, party and shit. If it's something you want the people to know about Big Chapo, what you, you going to let them know? I'm a humble nigga, bro. I'm definitely humble, down to the earth, bro. I don't think I'm better than nobody. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to never be one of them rap niggas that always feel like I'm better than everybody else. Like, because I don't like that, bro. Like, And I really look out, I reach out to a lot of niggas. Like, when niggas be hitting me, niggas that ain't got no name in the city be hitting me for the features, bro. I be looking out for niggas. I don't even be charging that much. You know what I'm saying? Or if anything, like, if I fuck with you and you real, I really fuck with your music, we going to do it out of love. Like, I ain't going to never get, I don't, I'm not going to never be big headed with this rap and shit, bro. Because I'm a human just like y'all. Like, I be wanting niggas to know that, bro. Like, I don't like rappers like that. Rappers like that, I don't fuck with. Like, I can really, but I ain't going to get into that, bro. It's a lot of rappers that's, that's popular in the city that the city love that I don't even fuck with because they big hit it. Like, I don't like that shit, bro. What, what's your favorite songs out your tape? Oh, for Desperado, I like the intro. That's why I like the song, Desperado. That bitch so hard. Like, see all that bitch. He burnt that beat. That beat hard as shit. Like, and I, as soon as it started, I murked that bitch. Like, a lot of my songs, you know that I like songs with hooks. That's songs. A song has a hook, two verses. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I burnt. I went straight through. Like he sent me the beat. I went straight through. Like I went straight through. And I think I dropped the tape the next day. I made the intro last. I mean, the intro song was the last song. Believe it or not. W- was that a like plant, or was that just you ain't have an intro yet? You I didn't have an intro yet, and I was like, bro, I don't want to come the wrong way. I need that bitch to be how I need it to be. So I'm like, bro, I'm on my way to the booth. Send me some beats. Yeah, you talking about twin? I just <laughs> just sent your ass some beats. Da, 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 da. You don't even lose the you ain't even use the last ones I sent you. Like it was so funny. But I'm like, bro, I gotta find that certain beat. Like that bitch, he gonna send them. That's my dub. I burnt that bitch. I'm like, all right, we in there. I like Desperado. I like Annoying. They my two. I like um, I like the song uh My Life. The song My Life. I fuck with that. That's the outro. And I fuck with uh Lost Niggas, Took Niggas. That's L N T N. I fuck with that, but. For a lot of songs, but then the features, I I got some features on. I want to shout out my features too, like shout out my nigga Mari, R two R Mari. Y'all got looking at him, he up and coming too. R two R Mari. Where you from? He from Chelsea, I, over west. Chelsea. Mhm. Oh. The block Chelsea for real, like that's like Park Heights. Yeah. Okay. Park okay. Heights. Okay. 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 Even Park Heights, Chelsea for him. He from over Chelsea. Shout out uh my man Ziggy. That's my best friend, believe it or not. That's my best friend. My man, Too Glazy. He out here. He out there for real. Okay, okay, okay. That's my man, Zay from the Five. You know, he changed his name from Too Glazy Ziggy to Zay from the Five. You can call him evil. But, <laughs> what the fuck? But that's my dub. Like, and I really be giving him that push. Like, right. that's my dub. Like, real shit. And we be on niggas' ass with this rap shit. Like, we got the song called Flash Out that's on the tape. Like, I need niggas to bump that and get into that. We talked our shit on a back and forth tip. You know what I'm saying? And then shout out LBGBM. You know what I'm saying? That's my man, too. He from down uh, Bruce Manners. You you locked in whatever LB. I, I'm, I'm LB. familiar with like Muck. I'm familiar with like. Yeah, I fuck with niggas. I, mean, I fuck with them for sure. Mm-hmm. For sure. Like, like Muck more so was Bullet Mass. Like, okay, okay. Muck been locked up for a minute. So. Yeah, his ass. Okay. And Muck would come on, drop a crazy song, and then go back to jail. Shit, so crazy. <laughs> back in the G, right? Back in the G, I would try hell. Muck used to be with niggas. Like, that's just so funny. Back in the G. I got I got we found to come home and tell nigga, but Bat and G used to be in my house. First time he smoked the loud, he was in my house. Mm. He was with my smoking loud with my mother. <laughs> my mother and bullet. And he oh. coughing and shit. My mother laughing at him and shit. But I fuck with my biscuit, LBG biscuit. I am I'm, I'm really familiar with biscuit. I think biscuit got like a song, a crazy song that kids love. Like, yeah, I, kids, I fuck man. with biscuit. Like, I fuck with LBG. Was it any any reason for these particular features? Cause these are like, up and coming artists. You done did yeah, some like, Chris. You done did Moose. Yeah, you know, I did. Izzy, I, I be kind of. And yeah. that's that's another thing about me, bro. I be wanting everybody like to really come out together. We gotta use each other, bro. Like we hot. The young niggas got this shit right now. The young niggas, bro. Believe it or not, ain't none of us probably 22, 23. We all probably 19, 20, 21, shit like that, bro. Like, and we coming up. So why not use each other? Like, and they got the west side. Like, I'm from the south. Like, we gonna bring each other recognition. Our fans gonna use each other. We gonna. 
we gonna come up together. Like I fuck with a lot of other young niggas though. Like that's on the song that ain't yeah. Like like Young Don, I fuck with Young Don. A long Yo, you had Young Don on the first tape. Young Don, that probably was Young Don. He was on he the tape, and we was locked up together. Down there, year together. You know what I'm saying the guy was like I on the same tear and all of that, like come on. same tear and all that. We used to geek on the tear all day long. You know what I'm saying like mm. that was my dog, like real shit. Like he used to call my phone and all that, but he came home went right back. He came went on some right, but he crazy, dropped yeah. what like two songs and then left. That bitch went right back. That's my dog. No, I fuck with young, free young dog. Sure, yeah, free bro. I, I fuck with a lot of young niggas, like a lot of young niggas. All right, Bing, I definitely can't forget my niggas from down here. My man. My man Peter, he locked up right now. Free Peter up for real. Peter FR. And then you got my man Nuts. You know what I'm saying? My man Ken Nuts. BP. That's my dub. Like, they got the song called Lurkin with, with the nigga Lord Toot on uh, YouTube. They buzzing right now. And he hot right now coming from down there. I don't really there. say because those names sound familiar. You know, when I was doing the team party, they be putting me on with a bunch of stuff. Yeah. So, like, uh, I fuck with a lot of young niggas for real from the city. I used to be, I used to be like, like how I, how I even came across Mook. Like I used to do like these up, up next tapes when Spanrilla was around, and I would just put up and coming artists on these tapes, and I came across a lot of hot artists. Uh, I was not about D Nice before he got big, mm -hmm. um, OMC Ant when before he, he's over these people, but I fuck with Ant. Yeah, I, I fuck with. Him. I, I ain't I, never did no. Like, it wasn't never on mute. I fuck with Ant though. Like we we had we supposed to have a show together. This is okay. Supposed to have a show together at two o'clock club. Was it two o'clock? No, I'm fucking getting. That's by the clock. They booked me and Ant for the shows and shit. I didn't know he was performing. I come down there and see him before I even get to perform. Ant and them niggas <laughs> beat the shit out of the nigga in the club. <laughs> <laughs> he beat the shit out of nigga in the club. Like that shit was free. I'm on a yo. He come out, chop, stop, da, 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 dap me up and shit. I'm on a what happened? My nigga getting goofy in that bitch. Da, 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 da. Bitch, my money. Fuck you talking about. I ain't, I can't pick the back end up because I can't perform because y'all just scrape show. Like right. But I got the front end though. I he, he like promoter. Like yeah, just keep the keep the first half. Like that shit was fun and shit though. Yeah, I fuck with OMC Ant though. That's about the clock. Smalls. That bitch five. small as shit, ain't it? Yeah. Winning that bitch like, damn, it's hot as shit. That shit, I definitely appreciate you pulling up on me though, bro. Yeah, for sure. Let, let people know where they can find you at, Instagram. Yeah, yo, that. you can find me everything. I just made a Twitter. Y'all need nigga get on my Twitter too, yo. My shit, the same thing as my, my uh, Instagram, underscore Big Chop, bro. Like, two Gs, B I G G C H A P O. You know what I'm saying? On both of them. Um, you know, go to YouTube, Big Chop, bro. everything, Big Chop. Everywhere you look, I'm going to be there, like, for sure. Nah, I appreciate you putting up on me, my God. I, I really mm -hmm. do. Like, this was something I wanted to do, so we, I'm glad I got it done. Yeah. Appreciate you, my God. No.